you are not just a physical body living in a physical world beyond this physical body you are radiating vibrational energy and you live in a world where everything is made of energy we don't see energy but we feel energy that's why when a person enters a room you can instantly tell their vibes good or bad you have the ability to send and receive energy one of the biggest challenge for you is how to radiate high vibrational energy to attract everything you desire the word you speak the thought you create every action you take from the simplest task to the complexity of your emotions everything creates energy regardless of whether positive experiences or negative they all hold vibrational frequency which can impact how you feel and show up in the world and your energy can impact and affect everything around you from people to animals to plants to nature to your home to your neighbors the opportunities the challenges the difficulties the success the failures everything is being impacted by the energy you carry and you hold through mastery of these energetic frequencies you can shift and elevate your identity to higher dimensions so that you can attract everything you desire you can either vibrate the energy that attracts everything you desire or you can have the energy that repels everything you desire it's all about how you radiate and what you tune into that shapes your reality if your energy radiates anger frustration sadness lack of money guess what that's what is going to show up in your reality because that's the energetic signal you are sending to the universe by radiating the energy of sadness by radiating the energy of anger and frustration and the lack when you radiate that energy that's what universe gets and that's what you get in your reality and let me clarify universe speaks the language of energy it understands energy it doesn't speak any other language it speaks frequency the vibration the energy so regardless of what you say by your words if your energy speaks lack if your energy speaks anger if your energy speaks frustration sadness that what universe god will hear that what will get attracted to you that's what is going to come to you because like i said universe understands energy so if you want to shift change elevate your life completely and make it magical you have to speak in the language of energy by shifting your vibration by shifting your frequency from low vibe to high vibes and that will shift everything in your life and this is why it is so crucial to understand this because this is what most people miss we have to speak we have to radiate and connect to the universe through the frequency through the energy not by any other way but shifting our energy and it's so crucial because we hear time and time again people say our prayers are not being answered god is not listening to our prayers i want love i want money i want success i want fulfillment but it's not happening why is it not happening and what they don't realize their energy their frequency their vibration is speaking i lack the money 
I lack love. I lack opportunity. I lack success. And that is very low vibration. And that is the signal that is getting to the universe because everything is frequency. Everything is energy. And the universe speaks the language of energy. And when you understand that, grasp that, get that, is going to shift everything for you. So you must master your vibrational energy to attract everything you desire and you have a free will to tune into to attract to have anything you want god the creator of all that is has given this power to human being to have a free will so if you are willingly choosing to get engaged in gossip complaints blame, negative media, consuming negative content, being around with people who are consistently in this complain mode. You have the free will to do that, to complain, to gossip, to not do anything with your life. You have the choice and God has given that power to human being to choose you have the free will to choose what you want in your life and how you want your life to be. You can choose to have it conveniently not doing anything. You can choose to be engaged in toxic negative conversations and no one will stop you from doing that. You can continue to do that and live your life in that way. But realize that that is low vibrational. Realize that doesn't speak high vibration, that doesn't give you your desires, that doesn't take you where you really want to go if you really want to go. So you have the free will to choose and nobody will say anything because you have the choice. But know that you will be stuck in that pattern, in that negative life cycle all your life and you will not know how to change your situations if you don't become aware what is causing you to be in this space, in this low vibration. This is why it becomes so important for you to become aware of your environment, your friends, your colleagues, your work environment, your family, and everything that you interact with. You have to become aware of every single thing, what you tune into. And everything that you tune into is shaping your reality, is shaping your thoughts, your emotions, and your energy. I want you to think about this analogy. I want you to think about a radio. A radio sends signals. Signals to different frequencies where different radio channels are. If you want to tune into FM 100, you have to tune into that frequency in order to listen to that radio. But if you want to choose to listen to BBC radio, you have to tune into that frequency and listen to BBC radio. Does that mean FM 100 doesn't exist just because you're listening to BBC radio? No, it exists. Everything exists at the same time. All radio stations exist at the same moment, but you are choosing to listen to one of them. You cannot listen to all of them at the same time. You are choosing the frequency which you want to tune into to listen to a specific radio, right? Exactly the same way. If you want to shift and tune into a frequency of high vibration to attract your desires, you have to tune into that. That means you have to let go of any other frequencies. They all exist. Low vibration exists. Negative, uh, challenging, difficult situations, people exist. Toxic, narcissistic people exist. But are you tuning into that? Are you tuning into those frequencies? The good, the bad, the ugly, they all exist. 
In the world, there are people who murder other people. There are people who are thieves. There are people who do corrupt things. They exist, right? They all exist. But there are also people who are kind, loving, compassionate. People who are highly, highly successful and highly kind and empathic. They exist. Everything exists. When everything exists, it is up to you and your free will to choose what you are tuning into. Does that make sense? So you have the choice. Instead of complaining that my life sucks, think about what am I tuning into? What is my environment looks like? What my life looks like? What kind of people I'm tuning into? What kind of people I engage with? And then shift and understand and elevate. And that's how you can choose to shift your vibration and elevate your vibration and your frequency depending on what signal you are tuning into. In other words, if you want to shift experiences in your life, you must shift your thoughts, your emotions to be aligned with what you truly desire. And committing to positive energy and letting go of everything that is low vibrational. And you may ask, how do I know if it's low vibrational? Then I would say that how does that make you feel? When you tune into certain people, certain conversation, certain situations, certain events, certain places you go to, how does that make you feel? And if you say to me, temporarily, it makes you feel good. Think about how it makes you feel afterwards. If something giving you a temporary high, certain things you are taking or doing that gives you a temporary high, how does that leave you afterwards? Does that still keep you in that elevated, high, positive, loving, happy, joyful energy? And if the answer is no, then you know it is not high vibrational. And that goes to anything in terms of food, people, substances, anything, environments. Think about it and then choose what keeps you in that high elevated energy. And anything that doesn't, anything that brings shame, anger, guilt, sadness, whether in a moment or after a while. If you feel like that, that means it is not high vibrational. It is low frequency. So letting go of anything that is low vibrational and embracing everything that is high vibrational, that is going to change your life magically in every single area. You will see the change. You will see the shift instantly. And if you don't believe me, then try it and thank me later. So I just want to mention few spots have been opened up to be coached by me. So if you are struggling with your emotions, exhausted, burnt out, suffering with emotional pain, then do complete a short application on my website to see if you qualify for a complimentary call with me. And then we can see if we are right fit to work together. Like this video if you like this video and subscribe to my channel. And this is the next video you should watch, which is about why the love you give, they hate.